We are embarking on a major NSF research project investigating oak forest dynamics in the eastern U.S. Here in the Genesee Valley, we have a really fascinating collection of old growth oak forest communities. We're basically trying to understand both their spatial distribution as well as their change over time. Now, oak forests are historically very important, both ecologically and economically, and they've been undergoing some change over the last 200 years or so. They have been on the decline. The scientific uh, debate is over the relative influence of environmental factors, namely drought and changing climate conditions, versus the role of human influences, uh, and in particular, the role of Native American management of land in the pre-contact era. We have a few different data sets to work with in order to understand oak forests in the past. Perhaps the most fascinating or um, kind of serendipitous data source for us are what are called original land survey records. So original land survey records are the first land surveys that were conducted by European Americans in the New World. These field notes contain descriptions of the tree species as well as the soil conditions that they found as they were surveying. This is a very serendipitous data set because it contains these references to where certain species were during or just prior to European American settlement. We don't have the data creators to talk to or to reference. We have to make a lot of assumptions ourselves and we have to do that to the best of our abilities so at times I feel sort of like a, a geographic detective in some ways because we have to try to recreate these early European settlement landscapes and see how they've changed over time. Now uh, working with professors has been great because um, they're relaxed but they're also very knowledgeable um, and they're there to help us but they're also there to learn with us and that's a really cool experience. It's actually really great because not only am I looking at a problem where uh, we're conducting spatial analyses and we're thinking about spatial problems, but the cultural implications of our research really lend itself to anthropological sort of research as well. And thinking in that kind of mindset of trying to you know, relate to these people that we're studying and understanding our own biases coming into this that background is definitely very helpful for this kind of research. I think perhaps the most novel aspect of this research is that it could and I must emphasize could, reveal that the land use practices of past Native American societies has changed the trajectory of ecosystems and that even 200 or 300 years later, we still see their imprint. So I think the idea that there are still trees out there that are directly or indirectly there because of what past Native American groups we're doing to the landscape I think is a very powerful idea and it captures the imagination as well.